Hello, welcome. Today on this video, I'm going to show you a comparison of the 3M tape and the 3M spray. I'm going to show you the way I use it. There's different ways of using it and every different way you use this spray, it will give you a different outcome. This is the roll of 3M tape that I use. This 3M tape is pretty pricey. I had to look for a different alternative to bring down the price of my project. I had to find something that's more forgiving. This double sided tape, once you stick it down, there's no correcting anything. If you put it on wrong, you have to start over. I found this 3M spray at my local hardware store. This Super 77 adhesive, it's pretty good. If you spray it, it will stick. If you spray a light coat, the bond will not be that strong. With High Tech 90 contact adhesive, it's very strong. I like to keep my laser pieces intact so when I spray it, it does not spray glue on the edges. Even though the glue dries clearly, I just do this for my own likings. This little name plaque that I'm doing, I'm using all my scrap material that I have laying around. This acrylic will have double-sided tape on the back side of it. Now it's time to spray this board so I can stick it to the front side of the other piece. With a nice heavy coat like this, you will get a nice bond. To verify that the adhesive is ready to stick, when you touch it, it should feel a little tacky and grab onto your fingers just a little bit. Now after removing all the extra pieces, I connect the two pieces together. I find this to be a little more easier to line up the pieces because the glue is forgiving. It lets me adjust the two pieces so I could have a nice straight even edge on both pieces. Now connecting the 3M tape with the other piece, it's a little bit more trickier because you have to lay it nice and flat and straight and you only have one chance. And this 3M tape is not even the strongest one. I think this 3M tape that I'm using, it's not that tacky compared to other 3M tapes that I had used previously. And depending on the material that I'm cutting, sometimes the backing of the 3M tape cuts through and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I like to use my roller on the double sided tape just to make sure I get all the air bubbles out of it. Now this is complete, see the nice clean edges that I end up with at the end.
Now I'm going to show you the difference between the 90 and the 77 spray. They both spray differently. The 90 has a heavy spray so it can get a nice bond between the two materials that you're bonding. To get the best results you have to spray on both sides of the materials that you're connecting together. The 77 spray does not shoot that much glue out but it doesn't mean that you cannot spray two or three layers on top of each other to get a good bond. Now this glue is tacky enough so I can stick it onto something. I'm just doing this as test purposes but if you let the glue dry long enough they will bond to each other strongly. My little displays are moving around, so I'm going to give it a light spray so I could have a temporary bond. With a very light coat like this, it will stick temporarily. And if you have made it this far, I would like to say thank you. And you are more than welcome to share my videos. Stay connected for future videos like this. Now if I really wanted a strong permanent bond, this is what I'll do. I will spray the wood and the back display piece. I would give it a heavier coat than this, but this is just for you to get an idea of how I would do it. If I let these two pieces completely dry, it will be a permanent bond. 